Hey guys, Mono Viking 82 here, back to show off some more plunder that I've acquired here recently. Um, got a little stack of stuff to show here, and this is all stuff that I picked up from uh, various band camps uh, earlier in the month, whenever band camp was uh, doing their whole, you know, first Friday of the month. All proceeds, 100% from band camp sales, go directly to the bands. Uh, last time around, I didn't get a chance to pick up a whole lot. This time around, I actually got a little bit more. Uh, there is one thing that I am still waiting on, but it was a pre-order, so it's not going to ship out till probably, I think, next week sometime. But, uh, yeah, if you can hear it in the background, though, listening to uh, Freeways, True Bearings, love this album. Um, just did a review for this, and it is, I still cannot get enough of this album. It is so good, and I definitely recommend you check it out. So, the first thing I'm going to show, though, is actually a record. Yeah, I've not shown one of those in quite a while, but I um, had to pick up the new one from The Glorious Dead, entitled Into Lifeless Shrines. And uh, if you're not familiar with this band, they are a, a death metal band based out of Michigan, featuring uh, Marty Worm from here on YouTube on guitar. He also is the owner of Bind Room Recordings. And uh, yeah, I've been a supporter of this band since uh, they made available their rehearsal demo. Uh, I've also got their 7-inch EP that they put out. So when they put out this album, I just had to pick it up. And uh, the vinyl itself is really gorgeous. I have a white, gray mixture with some green splatter in there. Really, really beautiful. Um, have not had a chance to listen to this yet because I uh, just haven't really had a whole lot of time to really listen to uh, vinyl. However, the good thing is it came with a CD copy. And as far as I know, this is the only way to get the CD of this. So I'm really looking forward to listening to that. Next up, we have some... Uh, if I remember right, they're kind of a blackened death metal out of Portland. This is Grim Ritual with the Death Clock Ticks. I uh, love that cover art. Really dig the logo. Uh, shout out to Matt Madani for uh, introducing me to this band. And of course, they were cool enough to uh, throw in a couple of stickers. Gotta love that. Next up, we have Holder with a album title that I'm not even going to attempt to uh, pronounce and uh, yeah Holder at one point it was a one woman a black metal project there she is right there though so she does have other members on this this is a uh, compilation put out from uh, Iron Bonehead and I've been meaning to pick up some Holder for a while uh, not really reinventing the wheel or anything but just some really solid old school kind of raw black metal definitely worth checking out in my opinion Next up, got the latest one from Bear Mace entitled Charred Fields of Slaughter. Uh, another one that is self-released by the band. Death Metal out of uh, Chicago. I absolutely loved their first album. So, of course, when I heard they had put out a new one, had to pick it up. And, uh, yeah, highly recommended. And lastly, two from the same band. Again, another band out of uh, Portland. I do believe in another one that Matt had uh, introduced me to. And in fact, I um, also saw that uh, Nick, Necrotic Nick from Thralls of Metal, actually showed these guys. And uh, so, introduced by both of them. So, cheers to both of them. But yeah, this is Pile of Priests. And uh, with their first one, Void to Enlightenment. Uh, really cool album cover. Uh, this one is kind of more like a thrashy death metal. And then uh, on their newest album, simply entitled Pile of Priests, it is more, it's kind of labeled um, progressive death metal, but I just hear more what I've listened to from this, kind of like a melodic death metal. So, um, yeah, still really worth checking out. I'm actually yeah, thinking of doing a review for this at some point as well. So yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And next uh, month, the first Friday of the month, Bandcamp should be doing their uh, Friday deal again where they will let 100% of uh, sales go directly to the band. So definitely take advantage of that. Help support these bands and keep them afloat. 
Again, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.